Well, welcome to Reading 2014. Thank you. That was an amazing gig. Lots of energy on that yeah. stage. Thank you. How was it for you? It was great. Uh, we we haven't done this festival in 13 years, so we were very excited to know that we were doing it. And, um, I actually liked the slot that we had, you know, it was uh, mid-afternoon and, it, you know, it was, uh, the, 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 the weather wasn't, it wasn't too hot, yeah. it wasn't wet, yeah. and, you know, the, I think the kids were ready, and uh, once we started seeing the dust fly, we knew we had it. Excellent. Yeah. The, the amount of energy on stage is phenomenal still. And with over 20 million albums sold worldwide, how do you keep on continuously improving and pleasing the fans? I mean, really, we, we, we still enjoy we, playing shows. We still love the feeling that we get from the crowd. And um, especially on these festivals, we, we look to these kinds of things as a challenge to make new fans, you know? Especially with with Reading and Leeds, you know they're they're a li they're not as you know core rock metal as maybe you know Sonosphere or Download. And being that we haven't done it in a while, we know that we have to step it up. And uh, so we we look at it, at it as a challenge, and and we just we know that if we put it out there. It's going to come back to us, and uh, you know we, we just want to make an impression on everybody and, and get that energy exchange up, and hope hope that uh, you know we, we make enough of an impression that they're going to want to come back and see us play again. Absolutely, and keep putting it out there. Must include new albums, obviously. Yeah. Can you update us on the new album? Yes, uh, we we're finished. We we just about have it mixed. Um, it's going to be called Face Everything and Rise, and it's going to—it's an acronym for fear. Um, but uh, we set out to make a heavier record, but of course we have attention deficit disorder when it comes to music, so we sort of went where the music took us. There were some uh, a little more dynamic, uh, maybe one a little more mellow, but you know. All of it still sounds like Papa Roach, you know. Um, right now we're in the process of choosing 10 out of 12, which is not very, not very easy. Uh, so the battle is, is uh, commencing right now. And uh, we look to have the single out in October and uh, the album out late January. So we're, we're excited, uh, you know, we're, we're very excited about the direction, really happy with the sound, and uh, excited to hear, you know, our, our fans' reaction to it. Well, Connection for me was uh, an awesome album. Thank you. Uh, you know, some, some of the additional sound that you've got on yeah. there, uh, and I hate comparing to other things, but it, it always reminds me of Hybrid Theory. Okay. Um, is, is there going to be more of the same from the, on the new album? There's, a, there's some electronics, um, maybe not so, uh, I guess, uh, dance oriented um, electronics but there is st it's still in there um, still as uh, a flavor not as a, a, a main featured part of it so yeah um, what's what's influenced the album musically and lyrically musically uh, you know we, we've we've taken a little taken it a little bit modern uh, with some of the you know trickier beats and, and uh, riffs and that kind of stuff uh, we're we're at a lower a little bit lower tuning so it does sound a little heavier a little beefier um, as far as the lyrics is concerned you know it's as usual it's kind of what Jacoby's gone through uh, at the time and uh, being that he's gone through this whole record cycle sober you know he he wanted he wanted it to to be more of a positive thing obviously not uh, getting away from sort of the struggle 
because that's always part of it. Um, he's always going to have internal struggle whether he's drinking or not. But, uh, you know. Yeah, he was struggling with an electrical device on stage, I saw. Yeah, yeah, there's, you know, there's uh, there's always something. And, you know, the, the running theme with, with our, our lyrics are that, you know, it's just about just getting through it and coming through on the other side. So there's there's some more of that, but it's uh, it feels a little more intimate this time. Good, I look forward to it. Yeah. Uh, you, and you're currently, uh, or you're about to go on tour with In Flames yeah. around Europe. Uh, are we gonna see anything else beyond that to, to help promote the, the new album? Um, we won't come back to the UK, I think, until next summer. Uh, we'll we'll do um, we'll come and do some some promo and uh, maybe play the record for some people maybe uh-huh. uh huh in October just before that tour but we won't actually tour until June okay so no hints other than the single I you know can't really can't really talk about it okay yeah. okay no worries. Given all the energy that you've, everyone in the band has clearly got on stage, you know, everyone has got an immense amount of energy still. And what do you guys do to relax after a gig, apart from talk to crazy media people, obviously? <laughs> um, well, at, at, you know, at festivals, we love to go check out other bands. Um, and we'll do that. We have to leave early tonight, but, um, you know, when we got on the bus, it's just hang out and listen to music. Uh, sometimes it'll be metal night, sometimes it'll be, you know, 80s pop night, sometimes it'll be hip hop night, you know. Uh, last night it was hip hop night and, uh, you know, I don't drink but, you know, a lot of the guys in the, in the crew and, and Tobin and Tony drink and so it's just... The cool thing is that nobody gets, ang nobody's an angry drunk, so that makes it more pleasant. And we just have we just have a good time, you know. Okay, cool. Well, you like listening to music to yeah. chill out. If if you could go and play on any one stage from Ready Festival this year, who would it be? I think it would be cool to play with Queens of the Stone Age. I mean, I've seen them. I've seen them a bunch. Uh, and yeah, obviously it would be different. You know, some people might think it would be a strange matchup, but uh, I, I I love the vibe, and uh, I think it would be cool. Very interesting. Yeah. So what's next for uh, Papa Roach? Touring. Lots of touring. Uh, we've we've been fortunate enough to to not really do much of anything for a while while we were doing the record and um, so we got some good home time and now we're just going to be hitting it hard uh, and hopefully getting to some places that we haven't been in a long time you know South America we were supposed to go last year but Jacoby had had to have vocal surgery so we missed that uh, we want to do that we're going to uh, we're doing Soundwave in Australia which we're excited about um, we haven't been there in 12 years uh, and we're looking forward to doing some Southeast Asia and you know all that stuff well good luck with that uh, thank you have you got any uh, messages for the fans in the UK and Europe um, fans in the UK thank you for for being so loyal uh, we always talk about you guys in other interviews with in other countries uh, and we love playing for you guys. Uh, look for the single in October. It's called Face Everything and Rise. And the new album by the same name in January. Uh, we're excited for you guys to hear it. And we can't wait to play some new songs for you on tour. Well, thank you very much for your time. Cool, thank you.